The Resvron drone was made by Iran's IRGC for suicide missions. It was officially revealed during the Prophet Muhammad 19 exercise. The drone was developed with defense industries and local tech companies. Its main role is to counter ambushes and ground threats. Resvan is very light and runs on a quiet electric motor. Its folding wings open immediately after launch in the air. That makes detection difficult during the first moments of flight. This surprise gives Iranian forces faster response against enemy threats. The drone has an operational range of about 20 kilometers. It can stay airborne for around 20 minutes in missions. That is enough time to circle above waiting for targets. The gap between launch and impact is very short. A small camera in its nose sends live video to operators. The operator can see the battlefield and choose the target. This lowers mistakes and increases accuracy during the strike. Footage is reviewed before deciding to hit or cancel. At its core, Resvan carries a small warhead payload. The warhead weighs only a few kilograms, but is deadly. It explodes on direct impact against vehicles or fortifications. Even against armor, it can still cause dangerous damage. Exact altitude data is not published, but it flies low. Its speed is moderate, neither too fast nor too slow. This balance makes it useful in tricky terrain or valleys. It quickly identifies ambushes and then delivers precise strikes. One key feature is its collapsible launcher tube system. It requires no runway or large launch equipment at all. That allows it to be fired from mountains or forests. The portable launcher is light and fast to prepare. Its body is shaped to reduce radar detection by enemies. The motor is quiet, which makes it even stealthier. Together, these features make the drone much harder to find. Enemy reaction is delayed, giving Resvan more time to strike. Exercises have already tested Resvan in controlled battle scenarios. Results showed its ability to hit with very little warning. So far, no reports of real battlefield use exist. It has only been seen in drills and training. One mission is destroying enemy car bombs approaching quickly. Resvan can strike them before they reach Iranian positions. This is important because such vehicles cause massive destruction. A quick reaction drone helps prevent disaster before it happens. Its exact price has never been announced by Iran. Similar Iranian drones usually cost only tens of thousands of dollars. Resvan likely costs less than larger foreign attack drones. This makes mass production affordable and sustainable for Iran. No official production numbers have been shared publicly yet. Iran claims thousands of drones will enter service next year. Resvan will probably account for hundreds within those totals. Low-cost design makes building large numbers very realistic. Resvan shares similarities with Russian and Israeli loitering munitions. Like those, it loiters then dives on chosen ground targets. But Resvan's difference is human control until final strike. That human input increases precision in chaotic battlefields. Bigger drones like TB2 or MQ-1 fly many hours. They cover huge distances carrying guided bombs and rockets. Resvan is not like them in mission scope. It's small, disposable, designed for short-range tactical strikes. Resvan works best in mountains, valleys, and forested regions. Because it needs no runway, launch points are flexible. Its weakness is short range compared to heavy drones, but for quick strikes nearby, it is perfectly suited. Live video feed gives Resvan a big advantage in targeting. Operators decide in real time whether to strike or abort. Many kamikaze drones lack this flexible human decision point. Resvan's design allows change of plan at the last second. The warhead is small, so damage is focused, not wide. But accuracy makes up for the lack of raw power. It reduces civilian losses in close-range tactical missions. That makes it more useful in sensitive urban fighting. Stealth and low noise make Resvan harder than usual to stop. Radar struggles to catch its small frame at close distance. The quiet motor means listening posts cannot detect it early. All of this increases survival until it hits its target. The drone's debut was in front of cameras and commanders. 
Iranian officers said it performed well against simulated ambush scenarios. Analysts and media studied its flight and targeting system carefully. Still, real war use has not yet been confirmed. Iran plans to expand drone production much more each year. Drones are central to Tehran's defense and offensive strategies now. They strengthen border security and expand tactical strike options. Resvan is an important piece of this modernization puzzle. Its stealthy design helps against technologically superior enemies in battle. When opponents cannot detect drones quickly, they become more vulnerable. Resvan changes the balance by hiding until too late. This is a strong card for Iran in modern warfare. Compared with Shahad 136, Resvan has much shorter range. Shahad is heavier and built for long-distance bombardment campaigns. Resvan is smaller, lighter, and focused on quick battlefield reactions. Each fills different roles in Iran's drone arsenal today. Weaknesses include its short flight time and limited payload. In heavily defended areas, it could be shot down easier. Open skies with strong air defense pose big risks. But in small surprise missions, Resvan works highly effectively. Resvan reflects Iran's push for domestic military self-reliance overall. It shows strong use of local engineers and defense companies. Mass production is cheaper and easier with this simple design. Iran hopes drones like Resvan boost its regional drone dominance. Export possibilities exist if allies want to buy cheap drones, but no clear proof of exports has been shown. Foreign analysts are watching closely for new information. Resvan will become better known as time goes forward.